cancer rates in Vietnam are increasing very high. The area of abandoned agricultural land is very large. Unemployment is increasing. Severe environmental pollution due to the use of pesticides in agriculture, food contaminated with pesticides and growth hormones. These are our common pains. What should we do for society and the environment? Colavina's vision is to be the leader in high-quality organic agricultural products in a circle economy, will to bring good values to society. The project was honored to receive the social impact idea. The project also entered the top 10 in SIG route and the top 30 of BMI. Our team consists of five members, Hong Shen, founder, Zhang Huang, leader, Chen Tafong, Kilitat, Nguyễn Hong Huang, Trung Kiên, and seven advisors, Hong Mai, Bao Quốc, Dung Vân, Hong Yin, Quang Huy, Thu Hương, and Than Vân. Our team believes this will be a project that contributes to the changing the world. Colabina Sabalin's social mantra is organics with potatoes, creating sustainable livelihoods, empowering communities, ensuring safe and green future. This mantra has been spread in articles, fan page, Facebook and broadcast. The government, farmers and consumers highly appreciate the project's impact on the environment and society. <laughs> Vietnam is a country heavily affected by war. Famine has made people only need to eat enough, not need to eat delicious and clean food. In addition, in the 30-year market economy mechanism, people have been dominated and affected by the non-natural agriculture of neighboring countries. For a long time, farmers have had a wrong perception and massively used pesticides in agriculture production. The project's target issues and root causes have been clearly stated in the five wise model in the SIG round. And the root cause is that farmers are not properly the value of organic sweet potato savonins in improving farmers' quality of life and protecting health and the environment. By training farmers on how to grow potatoes using organic microbial technology, the project hopes to educate and change farmers' awareness and habits in farming on a sustainable economic basis. As demonstrated in the SIG and ESG rounds, the project brings the following important social impacts. First, improving health for over 17,000 consumers. Second, increasing the income of over 14 billion VND per year for farmers. Third, protecting the environment. Project helps reduce 685.3 thousand tons of pesticides each year. In addition, effective use of abandoned agricultural land resources. With the scale and objectives as a whole, the project focuses on goals 3, 8, 13 and 15 of the United. From the root cause of farmers' awareness, the first solution is training. Colabina Savonin's mission is to educate farmers to be environmentally and socially responsible through organic agriculture. In addition, we also want to change the awareness of partners about their responsibility to the environment and society. In addition to product price and quality, they need to know what impact the production process has on society and the environment. Sweet potatoes with high semi content are grown using organic microbial technology to help protect the land and protect the health of customers. It ensures a livelihood for farmers because it is easy to cultivate with low investment costs but high yield in particular. Circular production helps to create zero waste and zero carbon. We see a big change in the awareness of farmers, authorities and customers about organic agriculture and ESG factors. <laughs> Sweet potatoes have a unique salmon content, so they have high economic value. The circular economic model helps reduce cost and increase revenue. Sweet potato tubers and tops for sale. Sweet potato vines for raising chickens and pigs. Chicken and pig manure are used to make organic fertilizer. The project also have revenue from transferring processes. In terms of profit, in the fifth year, it is 270 billion VND and will continue to grow as the area of cultivation is expanded. The project identifies risk of dead seedlings, rotten potatoes, old habits of farmers, and the market factors. To reduce dead seedlings, the project provides 5% more seedlings and guides farmers on how to shape newly planted seedlings, applying organic microbial technology to ensure that sweet potatoes are not damaged and rotten, training for farmers and surveying consumers to increase revenue, into cropping with corn and alternating crops with peanuts is done to improve the soil. Although in the initial stage, the project has received great attention from local authorities and farmers. Currently, the project has planted 30 hectares in eight localities. In the next five years, the project will continue to cooperate with the government, farmers' associations, women's associations, cooperatives, and farmers 
to expand the planting area nationwide. The project is receiving funding from Decree 17 of the government and Decree 24 of the city. It funding seeds and fertilizers for farmers to plant on an area of 20 hectares. The project also cooperates with the Women's Association of Tamki City to expand the project. One million women confidently start a business with Kolavina Sabuni to transfer potato planting processes and technology to women and expand the network of agents owned by women. We focus on communication and organizing conferences, training and module-based training to improve farmers' production and management capacity. Sweet potatoes have a unique sabonin content, so they have high economic value. The circular economic model helps reduce cost and increase revenue. Sweet potato tubers and tops for sale. Sweet potato vines for raising chickens and pigs. Chicken and pig manure are used to make organic fertilizer. The project also have revenue from transferring organic microbial technology processes and have many partners to develop the project. In terms of profit, in the fifth year, it is 270 billion VND and will continue to grow as the area of cultivation is expanded. The project identifies risk of dead seedlings, rotten potatoes, old habits of farmers and the market factors. To reduce dead seedlings, the project provides 5% more seedlings and guides farmers on how to shade newly planted seedlings applying organic microbial technology to ensure that sweet potatoes are not damaged and rotten, training for farmers and surveying consumer. The project has strong human resources and close coordination. We have a job arrangement diagram which is suitable for expertise according to ESG standards. Regarding the operation of the cooperative, there is Director Nguyen Hong Wang and Secretary Nguyen Thị Chang. Regarding training, there is organic microbial technology expert going up to Regarding guidance for farmers, there is Ms. Huynh Thi Phương Diễm, Master and Student, Chan Thập Phong Kitty Lab. Regarding economic management, there is Ms. Cho Thi Anh Thu, Master and Student, Chan Thị Hoan. Regarding office management, there is Mr. Nguyễn Tiến Mạnh. Regarding ESG management, there are Ms. Nguyễn Thị Hồng Sang. Ms. Hồng Sang is a lecturer teaching entrepreneurship. She and her colleagues constantly study and participate in many courses to improve their capacity. In the next five years, the project has a strategy to attract student interns to research and develop the project. 10% of the company's shares will be shared with employees who actively work for the company. We are always proactive in engaging stakeholders such as government contacts, investors, farmers, customers and distributors. In addition, we actively participate in competitions and training courses. The knowledge and feedback we receive are valuable lessons for us to integrate and adjust our busy operations. The Social Impact Measurement Report of Project, assessed by IIX Canada, focuses on the most important ESG issues for the project, such as information about the sustainable agriculture sector, operations, supply chain, affordability, quality, and stakeholders such as government, farmers, and consumers. The report is very detailed on many content such as the analysis of the orange face point, the impact of organizations and risk mitigation. We are very open to publish ESG data reported on the website htxnomipukerpna.com and on the Colavina Sabonins page, including positive results and areas for the improvement. The project will register for organic certification from reputable organizations. We clearly define the expectations of the stakeholders. The government expects to create livelihoods for farmers. Customers expect health protection products. People expect stable income. Distributors expect quality. The two main ways for the projects to practice ESGs are first, using microbiological organic technology to reduce damage to the soil, and second, working with the farming community, helping these people improve their lives. Currently, circular as of 2022 of the government has mentioned the law on the environmental protection. Circular number 96 of the Ministry of the Finance require ESG reporting for the public and list companies in Vietnam. We have signed a contract with Ecotex company to be supported in complying with ESG standards. IIS Canada has conducted a social impact measurement of the project in 2024. We have also published the ESG's compliance and efforts of the enterprise on htxnomibukerqn.com Before participating in the SBC competition, we had never heard of ease edges for the UN criteria. Now, we have uh, actively participated in ease edges courses, applied and managed ease edge in the business. We have integrated ease edge into the training program for farmers, instead of using training on the process as before. In signing cooperation agreement with partners, we also include ease edges compliant terms in the contract. If in the past we only cared about the E factor, now we pay attention to the X factor, and especially G. We care more about sustainability in governance. 
especially employee satisfaction index. We also include these edges in development strategies, in personal arrangement, and in working with partners. In addition, we also helped customers understand ESG in the consumption process. With the valued knowledge we learned from the competition, we believe that the project will have a strong vitality of the sweet potato sub-product, have a grown in a red land of the sunny and windy central coast.